Hello and welcome to Man Cave Mechanic. I'm Troy Bry, and today we're outside of the Man Cave on beautiful Higgins Lake in northern Michigan. We're on a 2004 Four Winds with a 5 liter Volvo Penta motor. Today we're going to be going over the Volvo Penta fuel pump and how to pressure test it. We're going to start with the low pressure side which can be anywhere from 8 to 18 and the high pressure side up on the fuel rail at 50 psi. Let's get at it. All right, first thing you're going to need is a pressure tester. You can pick these up at your local auto parts uh, retailer. Uh, this one is a Bosch that I picked up. It comes with the gauge, the hookup, and it comes with an adapter. The adapter goes on the low pressure side, and then you connect this to it. And the, then on the high pressure side, you can just connect it right direct. All right, so come on down here. Down here is your Volvo Penta fuel pump. Right down here on the front, on the bottom, is a Schrader valve. Looks like a bicycle tire valve. There's a cap on it, just unscrew it. You can see it right down there, right here. Okay, that's your low pressure side. You have two pumps. You have your low pressure side and your high pressure side. You're gonna screw on the fitting. Probably gonna get a little fuel coming out because it's still under pressure. Tighten that down. Okay. And go ahead and screw on the end of this. Now we're gonna tuck this up here and we're gonna start the motor. shows 10 psi which is right in normal range some of these will start out at right around 8 plus or minus they can go all the way up to 18 but 10 psi is is, is good all right shut her down all right you want to bleed off the pressure with this bleed off Okay, and then just reverse the order. Screw that. Maybe get some fuel leaking. This one takes a half inch wrench. These pressure gauges you can buy, I bought mine, but uh, you can rent those just as well at any of your auto parts dealers. They'll run them to you for, for nothing. All right, replace the cap. And let's move to the high pressure side. Up here, you have your fuel pressure regulator. In order to check that, you pull this, this uh, tube off here and there's a clip right on top. Pull that clip out. Okay. And then it's just a matter of pulling this out. A rag underneath there in case any fuel comes out. Right, a bit of fuel come out, just like we thought. Check the end of this, there's a screen on it. That screen, if you're having trouble with the paint inside of your fuel pump, will be also caked up on here. You can clean that up. It probably should be done yearly anyway. Just clean it up with some uh, uh, fuel cleaner and uh, carb cleaner and, and uh, put her back on. Just plugs right back in like that. And then the clip just goes right in. Just like that. Replug it in. Your high pressure testing spot 
is right here. This is your fuel rail. This is your fuel rail here. Here's your high pressure testing spot. Another Schrader valve. This one's bigger though. So you don't need the, the attachment for it. Thread that on there. Well, this one, when we start, it should be at 50 PSI. Okay. Let's put this right right there. All right, let's start this up. constant when you're under power as well. So let's just see what happens. Now we're just going to reverse the process again. Remember, this is under pressure, so we want to relieve the pressure with this pressure relief. Get that pressure out before you try and unscrew that. Take that off there. Place your cap on your Schrader valve. Make sure there's no fuel up here. And always keep, always check your fuel, or always check your engine compartment for fuel leaks when you when you're um, trying to repair this uh, fuel pump, just in case you got something wrong or a fitting's not tight because that can be dangerous um, that's about it there you have it that's how you pressure test the low and high side of a Volvo Penta fuel pump if you'd like to purchase my service I'll leave my information below I charge $300 plus shipping and handling 100% guaranteed if you'd like to learn how to disassemble and reassemble the Volvo Penta fuel pump I'll leave it in my playlist up here if you'd like to subscribe to my channel please click down here. Leave a like and comment. My name is Troy Bry for Man Cave Mechanic. Have a great day.